and we are here following the conclusion of the FAU Adidas Owl Classic and a win over Valparaiso with head coach Patrick Baker. Coach, uh, tough, tough one to nothing victory here today uh, on a hot, nasty day and, and a big goal for Mary O'Hara. The, the heat and the sunshine was real today, no doubt about it. Um, it was a grind for both teams, you know. Um, very little, you know, from the 18 down other than some set pieces and some traffic via corner kicks. Um, we just happened to find one little moment of magic and uh, Mary had a window and hit off the inside of the post. Um, kind of felt like it was a one goal game leading into halftime and, you know, we're, we were fortunate. Um, you know, Valpo, I think, gave up uh, three or four shots on the, on the weekend and ended up with two losses. And that's a really good team that's gonna win a lot of games this year. So, um, feel, feel good about the, the result, feel good about the weekend. You know, um, anytime you can win two games and anytime you can win in the heat this way and use a lot of players, um, you know, makes you, makes you feel good and, and it's a great start to next week. Uh, to that extent, today you had to empty your bench and you had to get, you know, players that no normally get as long a breaks, you know, longer breaks because it, it was just a gross day. Yeah, we we, we, we went deep. Um, we had, you know, Meredith Roberts took an injury, um, ended up putting Amanda Caravan at wide mid. Um, you know, we, we, we subbed both the outside backs just because the heat was uh, as real as it was. Um, I, th I think at halftime we'd subbed probably eight players. Um, just to try and give those guys a little rest and some hydration and just kind of manage the game. Um, you know, sometimes in the heat on the Sundays with a quick turnaround, you, you lack the quality, you know, and so you got to fight, you got to grind, and it's as much as you want it to be pretty, uh, more times than not, it isn't. Um, and that was the case today, but just really proud of how they stay focused and how they just continue to grind it out. And like I said, you know, Mary had a wonderful opportunity and, and she made the most of it. And what can you say about Jennifer Ocampo's weekend? Uh, good. I mean, really good. I thought she was, you know, we talked about on Friday night, she made a couple special saves. Um, and I think uh, proved to a lot of people her real qualities. Not that we needed to see them, but other people on the outside. Um, and, and today she handled what she needed to, you know. Uh, I'm not so sure there was anything on frame. Uh, I think there was one little sequence where she made a nice collapse dive and held on to it. But, um, you know, back-to-back -back shutouts, you know, um, is also good for us. So hopefully we can just uh, recover well, watch some video, and, and have a great week of preparation before heading over to the Florida Gulf Coast Tournament. And, and a very similar uh, to a showcase to this weekend, but but on the other coast. Yeah, um, and we're playing earlier time, so it's going to be warm uh, both times <laughs> we play. Um, but we'll get, you know, we'll we'll, we'll be ready. Uh, it's great that you know Florida Gulf Coast and us are doing this. You know, Jim and I are very close and. Uh, we have a lot of Florida players, and they have a lot of Florida players, and so playing at great venues and getting good games and um, being able to showcase in, in front of the home state is, uh, I think, very rewarding. And so this week's been great. I think everybody enjoyed it, and uh, we're looking forward to next weekend as well. Well, congrats on the two wins this weekend, and we'll talk to you in Fort Myers. Thank you.